Hey folks, this is the video review of the Harley Benton 212 Vintage 30 Angled Cabinet. Um, I don't do a lot of reviews, but I do buy all my own gear, and this is not in any way sponsored. Um, I felt compelled to make this review just to kind of show people uh, what's going on. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the camera real quickly and pull the front of this cabinet off so we can take a look at the speakers. As you can see, this arrived um, damaged. And I can equivocally tell you that the box that this came in was in absolutely perfect shape. There wasn't a dent or a tear in it. And um, this damage is clearly caused by poor build quality. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to zoom in here. And I'm going to note a few things. If you look, there are one, two, three, four staples. And man, these staples are like tin. They bend right over. Um, absolutely not enough to hold this cabinet together and even get it to a gig. There's only one spot over here that there's any glue. It is about four inches. And then we have an additional two staples. You can see that the Velcro here is stapled in and actually um, up here in the top corners, just pulling the grate off, pulled the Velcro pieces off that were the wood was attached with. Uh, again, couple staples, no glue. Um, you can also see that the seam here, and I'm actually going to do some close-ups of these in a minute, more close-ups, is also completely separating from the unit. We're going to get you a little better close-up of the top here. So um, you can see that that piece of wood that had the Velcro attached to it that holds the front grate on. Uh, just completely pulled off when I put the grate on. And you can also see probably clearer now that there's quite a big gap here. Um, again, this is all press board. It's all very poor quality. However, if it would have been built properly, it would have been a decent cabinet to take out to local gigs. Um, it's not something you'd want to tour across the planet with for sure, but, uh, you know, the, the build quality is horrible on this. Um, the staples, they bend, you push on them with your finger, they bend right over. Uh, there's no way that something that has a magnet that weighs nine pounds, um, is going to be held in by the way that this is built. So um, the cabinet, I will tell you, is broken in. Um, I was stuck in an isolation booth and for a couple days and ran the break-in frequencies. Even if broken, the cabinet sounds fabulous. Just a typical vintage 30 closed back cabinet kind of sound. Nice and mid-rangey. Um, I haven't pulled the speakers out yet to see if they're indeed vintage 30s. I'm assuming they are. The, from the front, they do look like they are. Um, I've ordered a seismic audio cabinet to go ahead and mount these two speakers in. Um, unfortunately, I really wanted a speaker cabinet that was the V type. So the top speaker pointed out at an angle and the bottom speaker would not. And the fact that the speakers were offset was very, very, very attractive to me. Uh, like the old Mesa Boogie cabinets were in the 90s. Um, unfortunately, the thing is just built horrible. Now, that being said, I live in the United States. There's only one place you can get these cabinets from in the USA. I'm not going to actually mention who they are because I'm sure with uh, cancel culture, they'll just try to get the video taken down. Um, but they are a company that's in Germany. And again, everybody will figure out who they are. Um, I, I, I want to go just a little deeper dive here and let you know that they tried to force me to go to the post office and have the post office claim that this was damaged and sent me the claim forms. Um, they wouldn't send me those until I emailed them seven times over a period of about 10 days. And they only emailed me back when I said, I am going to my credit card company at Visa and I am 
reporting this as fraud. I heard back with them from within an hour. Um, and it was not during their normal operating hours. It was during the daytime here in the USA. Um, that's the kind of people I was dealing with. Uh, I finally did report this as fraud showed uh, my bank manager pictures from this, the iPad that I'm actually filming this on. And she opened and closed a, a case right there and said, this is obviously, uh, you know, not built properly. Um, I, was, I was lucky enough, I have had the same post person for quite a long time and actually had them come in and look at it. And they said they wouldn't sign the form. This is clearly not damage from shipping. So that's the kind of games that uh, the company that is um, taking these cabinets and selling them uh, is playing. They're not built well, they know it, and they don't want to pay for it. So um, if they had one single brain cell in their head, they would just ship a container of these to the United States and ship them out of Nashville or someplace like it, like everybody else does, but they didn't do that. So that being said, well, we all know who the company is. Buyer beware, caveat the tour. Don't ship any of these products from Harley Benton to the United States. You've been warned. Thank you, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the review, and I hope this was helpful.